the first thing you talk about in the le in the illegal immigration chapter is Congolese illegal aliens in Angola. I mean, I think that was really <laughs> that was striking. You know, um, it's such a such a hot topic is Congolese illegal immigration in Angola and then Haitian illegal immigrants in Chile. But I wanted to br I thought it was important to talk about from a non-white, non-European perspective on immigration because so many people like we're having this conversation on BLM right now and on uh, and on slavery and the history of slavery. And you saw Senator Tim Kaine literally say America invented slavery. I think there really is that perspective from certain people, certainly, quote unquote, smart people who don't really have an international perspective that other nations like to protect their borders and do not like um mass immigration, especially when it's not, uh, you know, when it's illegal. And there was a great, um, a great study by Cambridge University, and unfortunately, I didn't make the book because it came out right after I was done submitting all the changes to it. But um, that there was a study done by uh, Cambridge University of 16 African countries that just looked at mass immigration of Africans inside Africa and found they had all the same exact responses that Americans do to mass immigration, which is lower levels of tr social trust, lower levels of institutional trust. Every one of those fabric pro of those problems that people often uh, tangle to racism was in a nation was it was covered in 16 countries that were all 100% basically black. 